Hello world. So in today's Python challenge, we'll attempt to write the pyramid function in one line of code. The function pyramid will take in a string and we can assume that there are no spaces inside this string. And afterwards, our function will print the following pyramid pattern. So notice that from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we have this pattern here, starting with A on the first line, B, C on the second line, D, E, F on the third line, and G on the fourth line. And similarly, given from A to K, we have A on the first line, B, C on the second line, D, E, F on the third line, G, H, I, J on the fourth line, and k on the fifth line. So note that if there are insufficient characters to form a pyramid, we use the star character to pad our string. And lastly, we need to write our function in one line of Python code. So do pause this video for a while to give it a go. So hopefully you have been able to complete this challenge. If not, let me bring you through how to. So before writing our pyramid function in one line of code, we need to first write it in many lines of code. So let's do that first. So I'm going to start off with pyramid and it takes in a string. And before we start coding, let's look for some patterns in our pyramid. So here, notice that length is equals to 1. And here, length is equals to 2. Here, length is equals to 3. And then we have 4. And finally, 5. So notice that the length of the row will increase by 1 after each row. And here our starting is 0 because A is at index 0. Here our start is at 1 because B is at index 1. So next our start is 3, then our start becomes 6, and our start becomes 10. So notice that our start will increase by length at each time. So from 0, we add 1 to get 1. And at 1, we add 2 to get 3. And when start is equals to 3, we add 3 to get 6. And afterwards, we add 4 to get 10. So let's start off with start is equals to 0 and length is equals to 1. And let's do a while loop. While start is less than the length of the string, let's create a row variable. So here we do some string slicing. Start and it will end at start plus length. And let's print row. Next, we have to increase start by length. So we add length to start. And after every iteration, we need to increase length by one. So let's try this pyramid. And A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. And if we run this code, we will get this so far. So notice that we haven't added any code to pad our rows with the star character. So let's do that now. So if the length of the row is actually less than our supposed length, we have to add the correct number of star characters. So row will plus equals to star multiplied by length minus the length of row. So if we run this again, we will get the correct output. So let's test this with G. And there we have it, we still have the correct output. So now that we can write our function in many lines, we can start writing our function in one line. So first things first, we have a while loop here, and we cannot really convert a while loop to one line. So we have to use a for loop instead. So I'm going to comment this out. So let's start by printing the length and the start. So let's do this first, print i for i in range 1, 2, 6. So note that this is being hard-coded currently, but we will deal with that later. So if we run this, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the length. So next, let's attempt to generate the start. So first, let's take a look at some number patterns. 0 is simply 0, and 1 is simply 1. 3 is 1 plus 2, and 6 is 1 plus 2 plus 3. And similarly, 10 is equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So given this, we can actually use the sum of the range to find our start. So let's do that and let's put this in a tuple. So i comma sum of range of i. 
and if we run this, we will get 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, 3, 4, 6, and 5, 10. So notice that these values represent the length and the start of each row. So next, instead of printing all of this in one row, let's add the print function inside of our list comprehension instead. And if we run this, we will get this 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, 3, 4, 6, and 5, 10. So with this, we can start to do our string slicing. Actually, let's rename our string as s first. So now let's do the string slicing here. So s, and we have to start from start. So this is our start, and this is our end. So similarly, sum range i. And we need to add the length to this. So length is i, so let's do this. So if we run this, we will get this current pyramid pattern so far. So notice that we haven't added any of the star characters. So let's test this with A, B, C, D, E, F, G first, and let's check. So this still prints the correct output so far. So next, we need to write some code to handle the star characters. So here, let's first attempt to print out the number of star characters that we want to add behind. So let's just add I first, and if we run this, we will get this so far. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, which isn't very correct because we still need to minus off the length of our row. So i minus the length of whatever string we have here. So we take our string slicing and we copy it here. And if we run this, we will get this so far. So notice now we have 0, 0, 0, 0 and 4 which is correct because we do not want to add any stars to the first four rows, but we want to add four stars to the last row. So next, let's multiply this with a star character. Star multiply by, and let's use a bracket here. And if we run this, we'll get this so far. And let's use a plus instead of a comma. And after running, we will get the correct output. However, do note that our six here is still hard-coded. So now let's find a way to generate the height of the pyramid dynamically. So I'm going to comment this out first. So firstly, let's try to find a pattern between the length of the string and the height of the pyramid. So let's say length is 1, so our height will be simply 1. And if length is 2 or 3, our height will be 2. If our string length is 4 to 6, our height will be 3. And if it is 7 to 10, our height will be 4. And if it is 11 to 15, our height will be 5, and so on. So notice that the maximum length here is equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and similarly, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And the maximum length here is 1 plus 2 plus 3, it is 1 plus 2, and it's simply 1. So let's simply write this first. Print sum of range i for i in range length s and if we run this we'll get this so far so 0 0 1 3 6 10 and so on so here because our input is from a to k our string length is 11 so because it is 11 we are expecting a height of 5 and 11 is less than 15 so we can actually use this list to check what is the supposed height of our pyramid. So next, let's change this this way. So i. So let's add a 1 here so we don't have to deal with the 0. And let's add a condition here. So if sum of range i is less than the length of s. So in this case, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's test it with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So here, we are expecting to get 1, 2, 3, 4. And similarly, if we remove G, we will expect to get 1, 2, 3. And here we have it. So the height here is actually the last number of this list. So let's add uh, index minus 1 here. So this is our height. So let's get rid of our print statement. And let's insert it into our list comprehension here. So here, we actually need to add 1 to the height. And if we try this with A, B, C, D, E, F, we will get the correct output. So let's add a G to check our function. So if we run this, we'll get the correct output. And now, let's go all the way up to K. 
h.i.j.k. And we still get the same output. Now let's try with even more stuff. L-M-N-O-P. And we should still get the correct output. So here we have it. How we can write this pyramid function in just one line of code. So some disclaimers that I want to bring to your attention is that do not write such code in production. For myself, I usually write this kind of code just for fun. But if I were to write this kind of code in production, my colleagues will probably hate me. So thanks for watching and hopefully you have learned something new about Python today.